Yo, what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul De Tech John. welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm gonna to be showing you just how easy it is to set up Amazon Alexa on your LG TV. And along with showing you how to set it up, I'm also gonna be giving you a demonstration of some of the great things that you can do with it. Now the TV that I'm gonna be using for this demonstration is my LG C10 OLED, but this should work for other LG TVs as well. And if you are looking to purchase a new TV, then please go and check out the guys at box.co.uk who were kind enough to send over this LG OLED TV, which has allowed me to make this video. So thanks to Box. Now, before we get started, I just wanna point out that this may not work in all regions. So please just bear that in mind. Now, there are a couple of ways of doing the initial setup. So the first way of doing it, is by grabbing your magic remote and pressing on the home button. Once you've done that, if you scroll along your apps at the bottom there, you should find the Amazon Alexa app. If you don't, then uh, you may have to search for it in the LG store. Now, the other way of doing it, and I think this is the more easier way of doing it, is uh, using the dedicated Prime Video button. Now, if you're were to press that just once, this would fire up Amazon Prime, or Prime Video, should I say. But if you hold it down for a long press, that will fire straight into Amazon Alexa. And as you can see, we are taken to that initial setup page. Now, once on this page, you're gonna to wanna to go to Get Started. Once you've clicked on that, you will be presented with a couple of options. So first off, you can use your uh, camera on your mobile phone and uh, scan the QR code, or you can go to amazon.com uh, as it is just there and enter this one-time code. Personally, I am gonna use the QR code. Now, I'm probably stating the obvious here, but one other thing to point out is that you are gonna need an Amazon account to be able to do this, and obviously have like Alexa-enabled devices, which you would have had um, your skills enabled, and all that sort of thing for the different features that you may wanna access uh, when using the Amazon Alexa on your TV. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just scan that QR code, simple as that, there you go. And that will take us to the web page where we will now hopefully have to sign in. Yeah, and there we go. So all I've got to do now is put in my details and uh, we should be up and running. And there we go, I've signed in and uh, instantly it has uh, confirmed that on the TV. And also on the phone, it says success. Now, once we've done that initial setup, it does come up on the screen asking you just to test it out by reading back a phrase, but I've just tried it about 20 times and for the life of me, I cannot get it to work because every time you go to test it out, it just comes up saying there's a temporary issue. But as soon as you turn the TV off and then back on again, it works perfectly fine. So please just bear that in mind, you know, if you do go to do this setup, that there is a bit of a glitch. So you may not be able to do that initial test as it wants you to do. But what I'm gonna do now anyway, is just demonstrate some of the great things that you can do. So one of the things that I have got is uh, lighting behind these units here and uh, this light over there, over there, which I've got Philips Hue bulbs installed on. And uh, I've got those connected up to my Amazon Echo speaker in the kitchen uh, using the appropriate skill. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, just see if we can turn on these lounge lights. So let's put it on the wide angle there. Turn on lounge lights. And there we go. You get confirmation back saying okay as well. You can see the lighting has all come on. Let's uh, just see if I can change the color as well. And obviously each time that I'm doing this, I'm holding down that prime video button for a long press. So I'll do it again. Change lounge lights to blue. And there we go. 
And what you do is you keep holding it down until you finish saying the sentence and then you let go at the end. So I'll just try it one more time. Change lounge lights to green. Okay. There we have it. Now I've got another great demonstration of a device that I've got connected up to my Amazon Alexa account. And that is this right here, which is my Hive thermostat. And as we can see at this present moment in time, it has got a target set of 19.5 degrees. But hopefully, I should be able to adjust that from the comfort of my chair. So if I just turn up the volume so we can hear what it says back, and uh, I'll give it the command. Set thermostat to 28 degrees. The heat set to 28. So it's now saying it's going to be 28 degrees on that thermostat. Let's just double check. And there we go. How clever is that? All done from the comfort of your chair. Now, I don't know about you, but in this household, we use our Amazon Alexa speaker all the time in the kitchen for setting timers. But one of the annoying things is when the timer goes off in the kitchen, um, you can hear it going off, but not necessarily will it always hear you if you tell it to shut up. And uh, in our living room, we have it set so our living room lights, all those lights you see me change earlier, will flash to indicate that it's going off. But one good thing is that you can actually tell it to shut up, again, from the comfort of your armchair. So we're just going to uh, shout out to the kitchen to set a timer. Alexa. Set a timer for five seconds. There we go. So a five second timer has been set. And I'm going to shut this door just to make sure that she doesn't hear what I'm saying from in there. And as you can see, I've got those lights flashing in there now. So if I want her to stop, I can simply just press on the button, hold it down. Alexa, stop. on Paul's Echo Studio. And there we go, it has stopped that five second timer once again from the comfort of my chair. Now that was just a brief demonstration of some of the great things that you can do with your LG TV and the Amazon Alexa app. But hopefully I've got something even more uh, sort of geeky to show you over the uh, coming days because I've just been sent this robotic vacuum cleaner, top of the range bit of kit, this one. And uh, apparently it even works with Alexa. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, I can control that with the TV. So if you wanna see that for yourselves then make sure you subscribe and uh, watch out for that video. Well, there you go then guys. Now, if you've enjoyed this video today, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of the same in the future, including that RoboVac, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, hit that bell icon, because otherwise, if you don't, you won't be notified of my latest uploads. So thanks very much for joining me today, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.